Done uh, for to say Switzerland, Luxembourg, with Cleo Leung, who is a master student at CCM. And Cleo, uh, tell us about your head joint. Um, I have a black uh, tungsten sputtered head joint. It's made with a combination of silver, 14 karat gold, and 24 karat gold. Does that make any difference? How, how come you picked this one out as opposed to the Z gold or? Um, whatever we had at the time. What does it do for you? Um, I really like this one because it has a very deep sound. Um, the intonation on it is very easy to control. It's a bit like a very powerful sports car where all you have to do is change just a little bit and have it do exactly what you want it to do. So you do feel a difference in the intonation with the, the parabolic curve yeah. of this head joint. The it's, yeah, it's our tube easier is just, to... Yeah, yeah, and our tube is just a different different size yeah. uh, in, in certain places, certain secret places. Um, how, do you, how do you find uh, the, the tone colors and the ease of changing colors and ease of changing dynamics? Is that any different on this head joint? Yeah, I can get a lot louder without having a crack. I can also change colors very easily without having it, you know, without without having to wait for response time. When I want it to change, it just changes, which is great. Well, good. Tell me about a little bit about your flute because the head joints, the BG head joints, go on any flute, and it actually I think it, it helps improve the intonation on these flutes. But your flute is unlike no other that I have seen. Yeah, I have a Stephen Wessel flute from England. Um, he's an independent maker who used to be a mechanical engineer. Uh, it's a very, very light silver flute with um, plastic, black plastic on the keys. So it matches the head joint. Is it actually plastic? Yeah, it's actually plastic. Okay. Um, and does he make head joints? No, he does not. No, so it's perfect uh, for a BG head joint. Um, what do you want to do when you grow up, young lady? I want to play in an orchestra okay. and get paid. And <laughs> what I like. But prior to this, prior to deciding you wanted to be a flute player, you thought you were going to, or you were actually what? Um, I have a bachelor's in physics from Harvard University. So for a year you worked in the lab? I, or yeah, lab? I, I worked in labs for, actually for three years. Um, I do have a research paper published somewhere for a conference as this author or something. And, uh, yeah, it was and a good time. <laughs> you're thinking about doing a, a, a DMA and possibly doing one on different metals for yeah. head joints and for flute. Is that correct? Yeah, I think it's I think it's a very interesting topic because, um, I mean, scientifically speaking, I think it would be really interesting to, you know, find out exactly why the tungsten, you know, changes the sound and the response. And I don't think. Yeah, and I mean, I just, I just don't know why, and I, I find it very curious because people ask me what it does, and um, scientifically, I can't tell them. Hey, thanks. We had a great uh, two weeks here in Vienna, and uh, thanks for talking to me a little bit about your head training. Yeah, no problem.